Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. You may have noticed that this video is 4 days late, however, here it is. And it's time to see what Kazuha is capable of at Constellation Zero, with the free to play weapon, the Iron Steam. Before getting started with this video, I wanted to quickly explain why this video is so late. First, a little bit about myself. I live in California in the United States and play on the North American servers. Kazuha was already released by Tuesday morning on the Chinese servers. So as usual with these videos, I was anxiously waiting for 4pm or so for when Kazuha is released in North America. Usually, I let my wife know that I'm going to neglect her for the entire evening. And in case you guys missed my community post, my wife actually went into labor 18 days early. So yeah, I am now not just a pauvrent of three cats, but also of one human child as well. We finally settled back in at home with our new family member and I'm finally able to bring you this video. So with all that out of the way, let's go over Kazuha's kit really quick. His normal attack, Garyu Blade Work, exists and looks cool. For the most part, I don't actually use it, and unless your Kazuha is a Constellation 6, I would focus on Swirl Damage or Animo Damage instead. His elemental skill, Chihaya Buru, can be tapped or held. Holding it increases its suction radius, and increases its casting time by just a little bit. And finally, it also increases the cooldown duration from 6 to 9 seconds. Both versions of the skill launch smaller enemies towards Kazuha, and Kazuha can follow up with a plunge attack that deals animo damage and leaves a very useful mini vortex where he lands. Kazuha's first passive allows his E to infuse an element, and then adds 200 additional infused damage to his follow-up plunge attack from Chihaya Buru. Kazuha's second passive provides elemental bonus damage when he procs a swirl for the swirled element. In case you were wondering if it boosts all the elements at once, unfortunately, no. It only boosts the swirled element. However, if you swirl multiple elements, you'll get a buff for each swirled element. Now let's talk about his burst, Kazuha Slash. Yes, it's actually called that. With literally the most pragmatic name in the game, you would never have expected the burst itself to be so visually stunning. It does an initial animo slash, followed by 5 ticks of animo damage. The burst can be infused with the first tick, which occurs shortly after the slash itself. Next let's go over my Kazuha's build. My Kazuha is at level 90, with the craftable iron sting at level 90. He has the 4 piece viridescent veneer, and he has a pure elemental mastery build. His timepiece, goblet, and circlet all have elemental mastery as a main stat. In total, he has 919 elemental mastery. Since my Kazuha has an elemental mastery build, his talent levels don't really matter much, but they are at 1, 6, and 6. He will also be at constellation 0 throughout the entirety of this video. Next, let's take a quick look at how much he boosts damage by. Kazuha is first and foremost a support character, so that's why I'm starting with this demonstration. We'll be doing this with my Klee, who has 100% crit rate and the Dodoko Tails. We can see in this clip that Klee's first hit of her normal attack is doing 4,806 damage. After a quick swirl from Kazuha's E and Plunge, which provide 40% Pyro Resistance Shred, thanks to the Viridescent Veneer 4 piece, and also provides 36.76% additional Pyro damage for Klee, thanks to his Ascension 2 passive, my Klee is now doing 7,162 damage. This is an impressive 49% gain in Klee's damage. However, I did want to put this into perspective. Here is Sucrose providing Klee with the Viridescent 4 piece resistance shred and Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer's buff. With Sucrose's buffs, Klee did 7,283 damage, which is a 52% boost to her damage, a few percentage points higher than Kazuha's damage boost. Next, let's take a look at Kazuha's crowd control capabilities. Here in the Viridescent Veneer dungeon, Kazuha's hold E is able to suck in all but the two furthest treasure hoarders on the side. This is, in my opinion, currently the best crowd control elemental skill in the game. However, to also put this into perspective, 
Venti's elemental burst is able to cleanly suck in even the treasure hoarders on the side. Overall, Kazuha's damage amplification is great, and his crowd control capabilities are far better than I expected. In a way, he is sort of a combination of Sucrose and Venti. Finally, let's take a look at how Kazuha performs in Abyss 12. Now, I do think Kazuha's performance is highly inflated. Animal swirls are hilariously broken in Abyss 11, and I won't be showcasing Kazuha in Abyss 11. As of when I filmed these runs, the Abyssal Moon is also providing tons of energy for animal characters. So please, please take all of this with a giant grain of salt when observing these demonstrations. In this Abyss 12 run, I mostly wanted to focus on swirling Pyro and Cryro with Kazuha and Sucrose as well. Also, I'm using Bennett and Rosaria who are both on the current banner to demonstrate how effective this strategy is and how you basically have a team out of the box if you pull a lot on his banner. <laughs> In Abyss 12.1, what's amazing is that Kazuha's Hold E is able to pull in these Geo Bishops, although his plunge attack does end up knocking them away, but this is still a remarkable and surprising amount of suction power. For 12-2, as demonstrated in the earlier Viridescent Veneer dungeon, Kazuha's hold E's suction radius isn't quite as large as Venti's, and as such, I need to aggro the treasure quarters on the sides closer to the center of the map, so that way Kazuha's hold E can catch them. After they're bundled up, Kazuha's mini vortex is great at keeping them in place, and they end up with swirl fodder. <laughs> Finally, 12-3 is actually pretty difficult for this specific team, because everything on this team has massive AoE and actually pretty bad single target damage. It's difficult to focus down the Abyss Lector as you would normally want to, while keeping the Abyss Mages alive to then swirl the Abyss Lector's shield away. Regardless, this was still relatively easy and Kazuha was able to handily complete it within the recommended 9 star criteria. So yeah, that's my first impressions of Kazuha at Constellation Zero, with the Iron Sting. Overall, Kazuha feels like a blend of Sucrose and Venti. At free-to-play levels, his damage amplification for raw elemental damage is on par with Sucrose. Meanwhile, Kazuha's Hold E is probably the best crowd control elemental skill in the game, but Venti's Elemental Burst is by far the superior crowd controlling ability. And finally, if you haven't subscribed yet, do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. I regularly make C0 showcases, guide videos, DPS showdowns, and more. And also, would you be interested in a support showdown video, similar to my DPS showdown videos, but this one being between Sucrose, Kazuha, and Venti? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.